I am really all about holistic pelvic health. So that's really the focus that I am just absolutely fascinated with and diving into these days. And that's why I really wanted to bring Kina onto the show. I'm going to introduce her in just a moment, but she, we're really going to be talking about the mind body connection as far as pelvic health, sex and sexuality. And uh, I'm just going to let her dive into this topic. But if you have pelvic pain, pelvic tension, any type of pelvic floor dysfunction, you're going to want to listen to this interview. It's going to be really, really helpful for you. So Kena, would you like to just say hi real quick so people can see your beautiful face? Yes. Hi <laughs> there. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me on. Oh, I'm thrilled. And actually, I was inter introduced to Kena by my, my friend, Casey, who I actually um, organized and, and led a treat in Morocco with her, a yoga and women's fitness retreat in Morocco over the, the last summer. It was amazing. And if, you know, if you're friends with Casey, then you're friends with me. I'm so excited <laughs> to be connected. So let me Perfect. just let me read um, Kena's uh, bio. It's a fabulous, uh, amazing bio. So Kena has a master's in clinical psychology and is a licensed marriage and family therapist and sex therapist. Studying for over 12 years in the fields of psychology, sexual health, and trauma treatment has enabled her to work comfortably and safely with a range of psychological challenges, which can significantly impact sex and intimacy. These challenges include depression, anxiety, trauma, grief, loss, compulsive behaviors, and life transitions. She's also a certified trauma therapist and training facilitator facilitator with the Trauma Resource Institute in Los Angeles, which provides education and training worldwide. She is acknowledged as a pelvic pain expert. Healthcare professionals, therapists, and coaches come to her from all over the world to get assistance with training and pelvic pain diagnoses. So we are very, very lucky to have her here with us today. So Kena, I'm, I'm again thrilled you're here and I want to just dive in with kind of the topic that may be on everybody's mind is what is a sex therapist and, and what do they do? Yeah. Yeah. This is a question I get a lot because there's so much um, misunderstandings around what a sex therapist is. Because the first thought that comes to mind is that like, maybe I have sex with clients and that is like the farthest thing from what I do. <laughs> I don't touch my clients. That must be an awkward conversation. If <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, are we going to have sex? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, Usually I lay the groundwork way ahead of time before they even come into my office. But usually at parties, people are like, oh, so you're a sex worker? I'm like, no, 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 that's, that's not what I do. I'm a licensed professional. And um, basically what it is, is that in addition to the education and the training that I receive in my master's program and um, to become licensed, is that I, I seek information and education and training beyond in the sexual therapy world. And I had initially started as a sexual health educator back in 2006, learned a lot of information just about anatomy function, sexual health, and, and then started to build on and realize that I wanted to go a little bit deeper with the people that I was interacting with. And so a typical therapy session, a, a typical sex therapy session is very similar to um, what somebody might think of for a talk therapy session with a marriage and family therapist or a psychotherapist. It's just that I have knowledge and can hold space for what's typically an uncomfortable conversation. And a lot of times I get clients who are, who come, when they come to me, they're like, they're like, okay, I know that you he must hear the most like bizarre, weird things that nobody's ever talked about. So I know that you can handle hearing what I have to share with you. And like 99.9% .9 of the time, whatever they're saying, I've heard before. And so I just really like normalize it. And so we, we talk about everything around sex and sexuality, but we also talk about the everyday topics of like anxiety and stress management and pain management and relationship stuff. Cause I don't see them as separate topics. I really help people integrate their sex, sexuality at whatever level it is into their day-to-day -day life and their, their own identity of themselves. So That's it's great. Most of that. It's a very, um, you know, holistic approach, mind, body, spirit. I, that's why I'm so glad you're here because I, I know that people come to Femfusion Fitness on YouTube and they often have pelvic pain, pelvic tension, prolapse, all sorts of, you know, issues that are, that are there. And mm -hmm. I can help them with posture and I can help them with, with yoga and, and fitness and relaxing the pelvic floor and strengthening and whatever they may need physically. But really it is such a mind, body, spirit, holistic 
approach that really is ultimately needed. And sex and sexuality and intimacy is usually so tied into these pelvic health concerns. 